Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the newly update iOS 18 public beta one is here. I wasn't expecting this today. I was thinking that it might come tomorrow, but surprisingly, Apple released the iOS 18 public beta one after a couple of hours of releasing iOS 18 beta three re-released version. So iOS 18 public beta one is here. The update size is about 6.71 gigs, as you can see. There are tons of new features available in this uh, version. I'm going to talk about many different things. But before that, how you can install this update, let's talk about that. So what you need to do is you need to go to settings. You need to go to journal. You need to go to software update. And after coming over here, you need to wait for update to pop up. So wait for a while. Well, I also want to talk about that after iOS 18 beta 3, it is taking a couple of time, but finally it is here. As you can see, beta updates is set to iOS 18 public beta. You need to select this option from here, go back and now you will see the update. But if you're not seeing beta update over here, what you need to do is you need to go to Safari. You need to go to apple.beta.apple.com, this website, and from here you need to sign up for the Apple beta software program. You need to sign up from here. You have to use the same Apple ID that is already you are logged in in your iPhone. So same ID over here, same ID in your iPhone. And after that, you will be able to see the public beta update option over here. And through that, you can install this update. Well, finally, it is here. It comes with all those features that are available in the, the three developer beta. So let's start with the most Amazing feature is now you can place icons anywhere you want just like this one. This is really cool Although it's been out for years Maybe ages for the other devices, but finally it is available with the iPhone You can place your widgets anywhere you want just like this one Also, you can customize your screen going into the edit option Customize over here now you can there are a couple of more options available You can change the size of your icons as you can see the name of apps have been gone and now the size of icons is quite different going back to the small one that i used to like over here there are a couple of options available so if i go over here i can choose the dark one let me show you over from here as you can see all icons turn dark going back to this edit customize i can choose the light option i can choose the dark option i can change the brightness of the wallpaper as you can see from here i can also go for the tinted icons over here so i can choose any color i want just like this one so a lot of customization available with the ios 18 public beta one as you can see all icons being turned into a different color according to my choice although they look some colors look weird but again this is some customization you can do now there are many other new features also there is a new password application let me go back to the normal icon so I, they can be like look better to me these default icons are always better there is a new password application now in the settings passwords are already available now they are available in a separate application which is much more customized much more in a better way over here all there are all your passwords your pass keys codes wi-fi security and deleted one by tapping this button you can also share passwords and pass keys with your family or whatever this is also available now going into the messages over here now tapping on this plus button into the more now there is send later option finally it is available with the iMessage where you can send message you can set up a message to send later at any time you want you can choose the time from here this is how you can select the time it is also available also if you press press on this emoji button now the in the keyboard sticker section is different it is available over here you need to go from here to here it is quite different on tapping this button you will be able to see stickers quite bigger you can see these are also stickers not emojis this is how they look like so it is a different section more organized in keyboard which looks also really really good so along with that there are many other tons of changes available in the uh, ios 18 public beta one in the apple tv now there is inside feature available that will show on screen actors name and details about them but unfortunately i don't have proper access to the apple tv in my country so i cannot show you that also settings is revamped if i go to over here and show you how the settings look like it is not cluttered anymore we used to have all the applications over here on a single page 
but now they are over here going into the apps now these apps are over here as you can see much better in a much better organized way which is also really really good so this is all organized too now battery sec battery is available in a different section it used to be down but now it is available in this top section which is also really good talking about many other features as i said there is a finally new control center which you can revamp you can do anything you want with your control center now pressing and hold is this and it will go kind of a jiggle mode you can customize this as you as you want you can change the size you can make it bigger again you can take this from for example from here you can put it here or anywhere basically for example if i do it and i take take it here also it's apple you know it's sometimes it's not give you it did apple never give you everything you can do but still it is much better now again going to the almost jiggle mode add a control over here over here you have a lot more options going on regarding your control center you can add many different buttons over here also you can add different pages by tapping on this button you can add multiple pages to your control center which is also good on this top button you can see a power button if you press it it nothing happens but you need to press and hold to bring out this um, slide to power off menu from where you can turn off your device it is also available with your ios 18 public beta 1. now many other features are going with this and i will definitely talk about more these features in my upcoming video but for now ios 18 public beta 1 is out brings tons of features and performance is also good i'm using developer beta 3 so performance is also decent it is almost same as the developer beta 3 so if you want to install it you can install it i have already shown that how you can install it well that's it from this video if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out